else is joining him in this top three? Lucky D versus Kite. Uh, so one very hard matchup and one probably easier to handle because I think that Hypnotic is going to be able to handle Kite's aggression fairly well. I think he's got good awareness for that. And so the question is, can, can Lucky D make it? They are messing around with the PS5. It's really annoying, you know, if you run this game on PS5, constantly switching between the PS4 and the PS5 version when you got the controllers, when you got the... It's so over that the stream ended. Oh, goodness. Is so this why the is the console starting over again? Huh? Why is the console starting over again? I don't know. I didn't notice that they switched versions, because I know that they've been running PS4 version Street Fighter VI. Um, PS4 version Street Fighter VI has, doesn't have this thing called variable refresh rate, which lets you turn down the input lag even more. Mm. But mm, stream back. Glad to hear it. Um, apologies if anything has gone down. I hope it's not because uh, the PS5 is having a little issue here. I just wish, you know, Sony weren't so stingy with, um, with controllers, man. Like, you go on PS5 and you plug in your pad, and it's just like, PS4 controllers don't work. It sucks. PS4 pad doesn't work on the PS5? Uh, if you if you run PS5 version of Street Fighter V, it doesn't. Oh. What? Yeah. A bunch of people at the launch event brought their PS5 with PS5 uh, Street Fighter, including myself, because I, I made a mistake. Does the game run differently for the PS4 version on PS5? So if you run the PS4 version on PS5, it's going to run just fine. But there's okay. some features of the PS5 version that you can use if you have a, a variable refresh rate monitor, one of the really fancy modern ones, and then you can bring down input lag by like frame and a half more. Oh. So it's good, but like I think that they've done a very good job optimizing this game, and it feels great on PS4. I'm very impressed by how good it feels on PS4. They have a, this very responsive game on a 10-year-old console. Shoutouts to Capcom for making it work. And and your PS4 doesn't scream. I don't know if you've ever, like, listened to your PS4 when it's playing Strive. It's struggling. It's that Capcom magic, man. I swear. Yeah. Like, listen, shoutouts to Capcom for making a good product. Yeah. Street Fighter is a good product, right? But, like, Sony, like, kind of fuck up right now. Well, Capcom is doing all the work they can. I think the nicest thing about it is that, um... For years, fighting game developers have been relying on Unreal Engine, and the thing about it is, I don't know if you remember the the launch Tekken 7 and Lost Street or Fighter 5 debacle of the input lag, and it was that you had like I think it was eight frames of lag in Tekken. It was crazy, and the reason is because um, the way that Epic Games tests their engines is with Fortnite, and in Fortnite, that much input lag just doesn't matter that much, and they didn't even notice for years and years and years. They didn't know. I Thank you for your because I did not know. This makes a lot more sense now. Yeah, and so that's why there was this update in the middle of Tekken 7 where they were like, yeah, we're going to upgrade the engine, and suddenly it was a lot more responsive, and the same thing happened to Street Fighter V. And um, I think Capcom, the lesson they took from that is we can't rely on some developer that is way bigger than us that all they care about is Fortnite, which is like the biggest game on the planet right now. We can't rely on them to listen to us to help us with the engine. We have to do it ourselves, and this is um, uh, this is what they're using for Resident Evil. That's that's what this is running. So on. Resident Evil, they make Cry and Monster Hunter. Hello. And all that stuff runs on the same code base. And so, uh, when the first beta came out, they're like, okay, people are complaining about the input lag. Here's a little flag you can turn on, and and it's been turned on ever since. Granted, though, um, this is on the RE engine. It's not on. It's not on the Epic Games engine. Anymore. Yeah, not anymore. Yeah, and. I think that gives them a com that gives them a legitimate competitive advantage of being yeah. able to respond to player requests. I don't know what is happening. Dan and Kai 
look like they were ready to play, and they're just standing at the PS5 like it's some sort of alien being. Um, I don't really know what's going on over there. Um, I'm not going to move from my chair. I'm just going to look at them. Kitaragi has now joined in the alien artifact observation. They're asking the archaeologists at this point, finding new technology. Does anybody here know uh, alien devices? Oh, Winters beat Kitaragi. I think Winters is my dark horse to win this bracket because nobody here is ready for her hot. <laughs> nobody is. I mean, but who put winners in losers bracket though? Uh, who put winners in losers bracket? That's a good question. Wow, was it early? I don't see her anywhere. Where's Winters? Kite. Okay. All right. Point proven. And who does Kite play? A uh, jury. Jury Honda seems fine. I guess it doesn't seem like particularly. I mean, granted, Kite is a he's a very hot. He's like. He's a very sophisticated man. He's a high level player. Yeah. He'll never knock him out. Yeah. He plays Shrive, oh. he plays Dragon Ball. Well, very impressive. Because um, Winters has taken a big body count <laughs> since this game has started. And um, just coasted on Honda. Nah, she puts in the work. She puts in the work. Definitely does. Always picks the winter and beat Honda. But she loses Honda, just won the matchup. That's it. That's what it is. And I mean, she's she's proven herself in Strive, right? Like she plays a pretty good Axel, a pretty good Testament. Axel, so. definitely yes. Well, she pulls out the Testament because Axel told Lewis sucks, but or maybe maybe it was that she thinks that her Axel versus Kenny is miserable, so she pulls out Testament. I don't remember, but okay, I think that the PS5 has been comprehended. I see these people shaking hands. I think we might have video games again. Yay, video games. Let's go. This time Listen, I'm going to tell you this before we get the match started. I don't give a fuck what anybody says about the music for this game. It's, it's very chill. It's very relaxed. It's not so in the background, but you hear just enough. Like, you kind of match the tempo of the match, you know? I like it. This intro, give or take, it's like, I don't care. I'm not really listening to it. It's fine. I, I know. I was, I was watching... Um, you know Blind Check? Yeah. I was watching the news how people were like just shitting on. He was talking about how people were just shitting on the introduction to the song. How it was like very corny. In my head, I mean, yeah, I guess, but I'm not here listening like, yeah, this is very, this is like a banger right here. I, I don't care. Like, look, it's already over. Yeah. No one I don't cares. care. And, and you know, the thing is, if you let it play, you're chilling, you're enjoying yourself, you're feeling the vibe. Wow, Kai going all in immediately. Kai has been doing that all night. Oh, you're in the corner, Dan. What round, you to do? start. Drive rush. Guys, give you questions. You need to find the answer Ten now. Ten seconds, and this man is already. Near. I think he's gonna. Yeah, he can kill. Drops, but oh. doesn't matter. Nineteen seconds. Damn. I guess his spawns get a perfect KO on him. Wonderful. Kite making this game look like Marvel. Oh God. Goodness me. Wow. Man, just not able to stop him. It just can find his footing now. Oh, okay. Here we go. Finds his footing. Now what puts Kai in the corner. Oh, Does fail the anti-air. He was ready though. He was yeah. ready. Was it quick enough? Ooh. And now Kai is so ready here in the corner. That's uh, that level two never. Oh, oh it worked. Okay, cool. It worked. Okay, Get first time me. it works all night. The skies. Commentator's curse, I guess. Okay. Big Smack throw. Control. Dan didn't trust the anti-air there, which is. Oh no! Very unfortunate. Kite takes game one at a dramatic pace. Dan is starting to slow it down, but Kite is going a mile a minute. I, I bet he's going to rest our driver. Yeah, Watch. Kite's not giving Dan a, a moment to rest. He knows what Dan wants to do. He's not having any of it. Okay, he didn't round start driver. Rush for one. Okay. Just pull on the ball for now for security. Okay, this match is starting to slow down to normal speed. Yep. And this is where Dan wants to be, right? He doesn't want to be in the face of somebody dive kicking at him. He just want to be here, chilling, get some buns in, chilling, throw the air out. Good DP, good. Okay. Really taking control of the momentum. Jari's turn right now. Ooh, not going to take back his turn. Okay. Very interesting choice with the teleport there. They just managed Damn. to get out of the corner. This is winner's bracket, right? Yeah, this is winner's. Uh, 
Okay. Big oh, no, teleport. Wow. That's the solution to the drive rush that he's been seeking. But kind is going to confirm anyway. Okay, another nice. teleport. What teleport is the answer? Oh, uh, now that is it's coming back to fight it back in the ass. So I have a Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Yo, Jerry just walking. Kai is just not. There's no fear in him at all. He's just walking yeah, forward. Yeah, he's just walking forward into Dawson. Like, most people, if they'd be caught by buns, they'd be scared. Not Kai. Fully confident in his office. Even when um, kind of fighting for his life over there, Kai does not feel like he is underconfident at any point. Yo, he just. Jerry just punished uh, one Dawson for the fight. That's wild. From that range. And Dan's starting to. You know, catch the flow of the match, starting to relax, starting to be able to catch Kite a little more effectively. Good shit, be good. Ah, uh, here you go. Damage. Big level one. Doesn't get the wow. combo, but does get the setup. And now one hit away, oh. and that's it. So, total right, reversal, man. One. one. The first person to make Kai hesitate to just drive rush in. And, and there you go, right? He tried to drive rush and knock him. Kai doesn't look like he knows, uh, you know, what he wants to do next. No, I think Sean and Finesse trying to like see what, what Dan trying to do next. Yeah, he's just, he doesn't have space to drive, bro. He has space to walk forward. He has very confidently been walking forward. But he just isn't threading the needle. Dan is threading his needle now. Okay. One big drive rush, but it's a mountain here. Getting the motor starting. Oh, God. Damn. Dan knowing exactly where to place the teleport so that Kite can't control his corner. And now Kite, you know, has to fight back with this match point from Dan in a very difficult situation. He's got bar. He's got the resources. But Dan has the anti-air. Ooh, no confirm. Okay. That's minus 18 and he didn't punish it. Rip. Drive reversal if you do bait it, it's very unsafe. You gotta be ready for it. Okay, space him out in the air. Look at this corner control. You belong in this corner. Oh god. Oh big Oh, no punish. Rip. But I mean, terrible pun is still a pun. Big overhead. This is a big chance for Kai. He excels in this situation where he's got the opponent trapped in the corner. Can he control Dan? Oh, nice. Get off. Strong drive reverse. Woo! But Dan manages to take control fully. 2 1, and Lucky D advances to winner's final. So now we got Hypnotic and Dan in winner's finals. I want to see this. I, want, I would like to see this. I want this to goes. see what does Hypnotic do because he has clearly demonstrated that he is profoundly brave and he will stop at nothing for his offense. And what does that mean when you face Dan? I don't know, but we're going to find out together, uh, even though we're not going to find out just yet because I see Winters over there. So... Winters versus Winters, Winters, Winters. Marax. Do you know who Maraxis is? I do not know. No. We're about to find out right now. Yeah. Never heard the name before now, but you know they both got here to losers round four, so clearly they got something going on. I want to see Winters um, Ihan. Ihan is Winters Ihan is is a very fun thing to watch. He goes up and across. Yes. And when he goes up and across, he's plus one on five, which is really funny. All right, I'm just going to look at this bracket real quick to say where, how Marax is. Marax has beaten F-Boy, uh, has beaten Torture Salt, and who put Marax is in Losers Hypnotic. So, interesting. I don't really know what to judge from that. So... Oh, did they disappear? Here I was, ready to commentate a match, and they take it away from me. Take it away from us. Well, that means more screen time for us. <laughs> there you go. Big sad. Sam is also kind of gone, too. I don't know what happened to him. We're not even running KOF tonight. Where's Tam? Tam is, I mean, Tam is smooth. That's 
Chi happen. Wong being home is probably, probably one reason we're not doing KOF. I'm surprised Chi Wong is like resting at home. Like I thought you would be at CEO yeah. so I'm like I've been very surprised by precisely who is at CEO. I mean, I'm not there because I'm a Florida man. I'm never going back. That's you know, it. You don't want to go back to your home to your home town? Absolutely not. <laughs> you want to see the local Florida man tries to fight alligator ten and lost ten all the match. <laughs> I'm not going back to the alligator land. Oh, no, buddy. I know better. <laughs> People ask me every year, when are you going to CO? It's so cool. And I'm like, mm, not going back to Florida. Not going back. Never going back. And and there was a big storm this year. I've there heard. were so many I people mean, that Grant, got... I mean, there's a big storm in Florida like every, almost every, if not every day. I've heard. It's heard. It's like, oh, Florida, yeah. half the town of Florida's got destroyed, but we're still having a barbecue tomorrow. So, you know, you can bring in I extra. mean, I know, I know how that is, like... I've, I just feel that your hometown is a, is a constant meme. Really funny. Because I don't have to live it. I'm over here. I'm having a great time. I don't care what Florida. Local man fights a raccoon loses. Uh, but I can tell you, I know I'm 40 miles per hour gusts of wind when I see one. And people are like, wind warning, boss, and 40 miles per hour. I'm like, uh, whatever. We used to have that all the time. I don't care. That's funny. For you for you and Flo, that's wind, right? And us, the thing that's like dangerous we consider normal is snowstorms. We would literally yeah. walk down the snowstorm and like, please stay in the house. It's dangerous. I'm like, no. I, I've been here for like the past 30 years. And it's like, it's snowstorms are like, it's like a walk in the park. It's, they say it's bad. It's that You can still walk to I local mean, It's been a while since we had a really big one. Like, I, I, I uh, moved here in 2016, and that one was big. 2015 and 2016 were both huge. The la the once there wasn't a snowstorm, but there was a polar vortex. That shit was yeah. cold as fuck. That was like 2018, I believe. That shit. Yeah, was and no that snow. was I, there that was, was no cold. snow, but it was like minus 14. That was cold as I shit. Was, I was I was I went to the local that day and I went outside and I, I felt like my whole body was falling apart. I remember there would happen what happened like a year or two ago. That shit was cold. It was this winter. So, so this winter, it wasn't quite as cold. It was like minus five or something. And it's just you no. Know, it was so cold. It was it, it was it was hurting to walk out. That's how wow. bad it was. Uh oh, our players are already up. We got Mr. Edmund. Look at Edmund. Edmund Honda versus DJ. Uh, I have no idea DJ. how this matchup goes. Let's find out together. Me Honda looking ready. Just got back from eating a giant bowl of udon. He's hungry, now he's on for the for Is fights. gonna go for the sumo face? Yeah, the sumo face. Let's go. So stoic. All right. She gonna do round star headbutt. No, no round star headbutt. Praise the sun. So the really interesting thing about Praise the Sun, it's like 51 frames and nobody punishes it. Well, I think we're just smart because he, she's literally doing it from far away if you can't really punch it. Yeah. And if you try to do a fireball, she's always blocking you. Ooh, jab. Very effective command. I just feel like DJ has a little song headbutt. What the fuck just happened? Another headbutt. Oh, no. DJ out. Of out. Now, this is a very difficult situation to be in because Honda can just chip you out. You definitely can. But a little awareness from Rax is on the. Oh, no. Damn. Yeah, headbutt's so hard to anti air. It's fine. Bro. Listen, if, he, if your Honda was as broke as anybody is, why isn't Amy playing Honda? He's, he's a cool man, right? Yeah, he's not a complicated character. He has like a fundamental So limit. why is nobody playing Honda? Listen, you want to really see e Honda so good. Bro. Play e Honda. Look at Winters. Winters, she's doing great. And, it, and it's not hard. Right. This is e Winters is capitalizing on the. Ooh. On the, on the fact that people don't know how to fight E-Honda. Yeah. Yo, that's smart. And... So Marantz had a big chance there, making the command throw whip, doesn't have a punish, and now we're gonna see whether that comes up again, because I know Winston really likes going for the command this game, you can play do what I want. I'm gonna push the corner with you, like it or not. Mm. Yeah, Give me your bottom. So that's the thing that uh, Winters is really good at is enforcing the command throw at all possible times and knowing I'm going to take some damage for this sometimes, but until you show me that you can make me hurt for doing that, I'm just going to keep going. Oh my god. Okay. Strong DI from Maraxxus. 
It's a big chance to actually do some damage. Nice. Doesn't mess up, whatever. No, that's good. Go for okay. the open. Nice. Nice take grab. Look at how much drive gaze he takes out on every headbutt. Like he's making our he's making DJ burn out almost immediately. Yo, look at the chip. Ooh, good back dash to get out of the sumo slam. Oh my god. But you gotta be careful. Because if that sumo slam lands, you're in trouble. Damn. Oh, oh wall. Level two? Does it need level two? I don't need it. Round two. Fight. Very dominant show from Winters. And this is this is what she does to everybody, you know? This is the, the typical on the game plan. Okay. Rax is enforcing corner pressure and starting to bring Jesus life back into. The, there you go. So that's the thing about headbutt is it loses the air bubbles. So if you have the reaction, you can just beat him up. But it is pretty hard, especially to do it meterless. Is rough. Yeah. Okay. Doing that meterless. Yeah. She's gonna go for level three here? No. Ooh. Okay. Oh, Strong choice. Because with the burnout, that would have been extremely difficult for Maraxis to fight his way out of it. So, very interesting, very good choice there. And so, now Maraxis doesn't really have meter to finish off Winters, but with this kind of offense, should be able to do something. Damn. Okay, stops the sumo slam. There's the adaptation. Oh, Max is just like catching on. Wow. He's learning. He's learning in real time. He's learning He's to like, learn. I'm Throwing the matchup. Oh, God. Okay. Get the throat. Level two. Mm. Oh. That's it. Summon amigo. Let's go. Oh, oh, he drops it. He has no All rhythm. Right. All right. you know what to do. Hey. All right. Almost loses the whole set on rhythm, DJ but... Managed to bring it back. There's some sort of glitch with the. All right, controller. so it's one one by the way. You oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The first game went by so quickly. Oh my goodness. Winter's just. Winter's goes oh, a mile a minute. Right. Right. Letter. All right, point. one one. Okay, up kicks, but manages a little better this time. Rice is finding the spots. Doesn't get caught by the Honda healing. So now Winter's is activating real mode. Very good jump. Oh, nice. Look at that awareness, man. Praise the sun. Mm. Drops the combo, gets it anyway. Command throw. Oh, my God. The reactions, man. If you got the reactions, the headbutt don't matter. But that Praise armored headbutt is so... It catches people off guard. It's not actually involved. It's just got that one hit of armor, but it catches people all the time. I went just bringing it back with that one, you know, believing in the headbutt. DJ's dancing now. Praise the sun. So hard to praise. Yo, have some beef. Set. We have some beef, and we're already at two thirds life deficit for Maraxis. Even when Maraxis is picking these spots fairly well, all it takes from Honda is one of yeah. that, you know, Get out have some of that life. beef. Slap. Oof, that's it. I, I love how Winter just comes in and just takes your ankles. Like, like it's the least thing you expect. Uh, like, oh, you just do mouth to side. Like, nope, take your ankles. Oh, wow. Dark. Another victim of Winter's Honda. Another fallen warrior to the sumo, the sumo slam. And the beat. I will say this, Marax is actually doing pretty good. He was adjusting his game fight. Yes, really well. absolutely. And the spacing was really good. Other than until, you know, Winch is doing Winch's thing is like, yeah, she got this. I think, you know The reason people are playing complaining as much as they do about Honda is it's a strong game plan. It's solid. It's yeah. solid. Um, I mean like And people granted, are adapting, but it's right. just taking them a hot minute. No, it's true. It's like I don't think my thing is that people people will say this. People will say what they want to say. The people can complain like, oh, um, e is 
shape, he's ass, he's, he should be nerfed, yeah. this, this, I'm like, no, you should just run the match up. That's literally it. He's not busted, he's not broken. He is wisely always in the top eight and all these other small attorneys is happening, right? There wasn't, there, I think, there wasn't top eight for um, the Honda in um, the GU tournament. There wasn't? No, there was. No, there was. It was, there was. Oh, no, no, there wasn't because... Um, Wallaby eliminated Winters, so she didn't go. get into top eight. Right. Not to say that, you know, Winters is bad or anything. Like, no, everybody was was a high-level player, you know? Yeah. Just that, like, there was, like, almost, a, there was almost, there was, like, basically 170 plus people there, right? Why wasn't Ihana there? Why is he so good? God, like, as everybody say, it's not to say he's, like, bad or anything, but, like, you know, just, like, you know, people just like to say the two cents, you know? Doesn't make a lot of sense. Anyway. Anywho, it just is just the same BS that the deal with back in the stride. We're like, oh, just in any fighting games. It's not just exclusive yeah. to Strive for Street Fighter. It's like any fighting games. Like, oh, this character's cheap. This but this bunch is like broken. It needs to be passed out and there for. Remember when Saul Far S was the bane of all existence, and it was the most horrible button that nobody could ever deal no, with. No, that was actually a legit issue. Oh, Souls Far Slash. That was a legit issue. You could not fight against that. You, what was okay? Then let me ask you this: What was the response to fight against it? Because you was plus, you was plus two, or whatever. And, all, and if you block the FD, you was, you add two four plus frames, so you still plus on block. I just six beat the next uh, far S and then beat him up. <laughs> I don't know. No, that's that still didn't work. <clears throat> wow. Here we have again the name slip. I try I so hard. Keyboard Noah and Tam Sun. Dalsim and probably can, honestly. Probably, yeah. I think Tam might have a better time of this just because he fights. Um, he fought, he fought, he lost to, to Dan that he lose to? Was it? Let's have a look-see here. Where's Tam? Yeah, he lost to Dan, but I think Keyboard Noah doesn't really. No, have you're probably the... right. Keyboard Noah is actually kind of goaded, to be honest. So the question here got money on Tam, you better win. Mm. He didn't lose to Dawson earlier, buddy. You're taking a risky gamble, but I think Keyboard no, I Noah. Think... Keyboard Noah is better at running away, and so the question is, can Tam catch him? If Tam can catch him, I think we're, I think he's set. But if Keyboard Noah can place his teleports as, as well as he's been doing so far, I think Tam might have a really hard time. So it's interesting. I think I think both players can do this. Tango betting on Tam too. Yikes. With pressure. You see this is a Dawson town because like there's not like a problem that one specific character. There's one character I've seen a lot in this Dawson. Huh? I've seen a lot of one specific character in this Dawson. Not E-Honda, not DJ, not Ken, or JP. Just Dawson. I mean, some people, some people are just inspired to do that, I guess. Every region has their own little ticks. I mean, we have like two Blancas, maybe? Two and a half? Anyway, we got Dawson, we got Ken. How is Tan going to approach this? He approaches that by walking back and then jumping back in. Classic Tan. No drive rush, care from fireballs. And again, Noah has been so careful with these teleports. This time, he's having better luck with these confirmed. So I think he's taking the time to take a break, figure out what he's missing with these combos, and start over. Right, right now, Tam is trying to like assert himself, but nothing's really working. Now he's on five houses. So oh my God! To catch up, Dawson. Damn. Keyboard Noah having a much better time this time. He's, he looks more relaxed. He looks more confident. Look at that. Immediately stopping the jump. Yo, they're both based on five. But like, Dawson is hotter than Ken. I think Ken's about to get okay. out. Tim's starting to get some offense, and he's pretty good here at the control in the corner. So let's see. What does Keyboard Noah try to do to oh, get out? Get off of Drive me. reversal, pretty good. But doesn't manage to deal with the jump spot. Okay, okay. Tim finally getting in. Oh. Another drive reversal to put him in burnout. This is very dangerous, but, you know, if he knows how to handle those teleports, it might not matter. Nice. Ooh, okay. punish. All right, oh, punish. Oh, oh. One, one. Kent, Tam still got this. He got it. Fine. 
Yeah, I think Jam is starting to see how to how to break through. Oh, that's a good face. Keyboard Noah is still very good at placing those fireballs. I mean, his zone has been very effective. He just sort of crumbles if it. If, I think the matchup boils out to if Tam ever manages to break through, I think he can guard and um, beat up Noah in the corner. But otherwise, this sort of thing won't happen. He's gonna get, he's gonna get struck and get perfect. Dawson wins. One zero. Keyboard Noah. Damn, this is gonna hurt to watch. Well, not the, the fact that like not even in the same zip code. But the fact that literally Dalsim is like doing his legend thing. He's going fireballs, teleporting behind you, in front of you, up above you. What are you supposed to do? Dalsim I mean, is the king of zoning. Oh my god. I mean, I think this is the sort of thing where Tam strong. Because Tam is mostly a defensive, reactive player, and to be forced into a match where he has to be on the offensive where he has to be all in, it's a struggle. And you know, he's doing it here, but it's taking all he has Thank to get you. this far. Oh, Ooh, nice. big DI. Okay. Okay, okay. try to cash out. Oh. No, no, I'm saving the bar because he feels nice. confident he can do this and he can keep it. Damn, if you win this, I'll take your machine. Oh, okay. You better tell him. If he managed to win, that is. Oh, blocking. okay. Nice. Level two again. Oh, oh it works this time. Nice. First, cool. first time it works as intended. Yep. Follow the fireball. Let's protect you for a bit. Catches with the fireball. Keyword no again. Very, very um, active with the teleport. Always able to slip out of the grasp of Sam. They grab rush confirmed. Punish the drive reversal. Nice First drive reversal punish all day. Does it again. Nice. Cashing out. 1-1. One, one. Double time. Just to make sure he's gone for good. Tam finding aggression. Very rare to see Tam really on the aggressive like this. But, you know, if you're going to be aggressive, they can. Okay. Okay. Ooh, nice. Very good catch on the jump there. Because the thing about... Mm, nice. The reaction. That's very rare, right? It's doing the drive rush and still having the awareness to do your DI. Very exactly. good reaction. He's catching that drive reversal now. So the strong adaptation of knowing where is Noah going to drive reversal, where is he going to do... Um, because he's, uh, Keyboard Noah is clearly not doing it as a reaction to the actual uh, driver of cancel, so. Damn, is just able to take control of the situation. One more round of Tam going all in, and that's it. You got this, Tam, let's go. Oh, Look at that nice jab. Confirm. Beautiful confirm. Oh. Uh, drops to the eye. Let's go. And he needs to, right? No one needs to establish a life lead at this point. Because otherwise, Tam is going to be able to keep this dominant positioning that he's been doing to take the whole game. Whoa. The Dawson classic hitting with the crowd fierce. Another strong teleport. But Tam always finding those spots. I think this could go to another round. Yeah, definitely. Go another round. One. Next point for both players. I never knew Dawson could actually angle it that low. Like, I thought it just only went up. So I guess. Yeah. I wonder if they released anything different. Like, better zone, better open worlds in different situations. That I'm not aware of. I would like to learn. Yeah. I want to understand that super fair because Dawson is just. I think that this happened through most of Street Fighter Islands. People thought Dawson is low damage, he can't kill anyone, and then. Over time, people started learning how Dawson works, and then he was one of the highest damage characters in the game. In, in five? Yeah. Yeah. No, Dawson just shits down. The same thing happens here. Um, Damn. Oh, I think that's kill. Wow. Here I am talking about Dawson for like 10 seconds. The round's already over. Yeah, this casually beat shit on. Just casually. Like we're talking about, oh yeah, Dawson's pretty good. Then get shit on. Think Dawson getting beat on. Yeah. Oh. Coming back from that is super hard. Alright, GG. Shout out to Tam, showing why he's pretty, still really good at um, Street Fighter 6, even though this is like, actually, 
I need to word that better. Uh, oh, that was losers. That was losers top eight. Oh, yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah. He's still in this. Bank swung competitor. Alright. We got Winter's Levity. I said 14, but I feel like the only reason why it's taking this long is because people, because literally because of the PS4, like, have to switch between the two. Winter's going through the DJ gauntlet here. Another DJ. If she wins here, does she go against another DJ? No, it's going to be Kai versus Tam. So it's not going to be three DJs in a row. That would be really funny if it was, though. Mm. At this rate, we're going to... Let's see, how many matches we got left? We got one, two, three, four, five. This isn't even going to go to 11. This is going to take like 25 more minutes, maybe. Like, that's crazy. I'm going to hold you to that. So it's 10.15. So the next... Are we going to finish by 10.40? Yes. I would like to see that happen. But, you know, end it early. You know, we all get to go home. We'll get to go home, relax. Maybe play a couple more games. Yeah. But they got to play some games right now. Hell yeah. All right. So how does Levity approach this differently from Maraxxus? Oh, slow oh. Hit Raise the sun. Pay the fireball. Okay. Strong sand fears. Good jumps. The classic DJ drive rush. And Levity does have the combos. Oh, he yeah. Was, he was waiting for that. Levity, he was is, Levity seems a lot more prepared than Marax. Marax is looking like he was doing it. Him. Actively through the match, Levity comes game, into though. this with Honda knowledge. Oh, damn. Oh, he's a grab. Yeah, that's possible. Take your anchor. There's Honda pressure, right? Like, it's been 15 seconds. But look at all his damage, but Levity a lot more aware of that armored headbutt than able to punish it. Damn. Oh, nice. Yeah, I feel like Winters has been getting away with a lot of command throws for free, and this time, nope. All right, armor headbutt. Oh, Not quite. Oh, that's it. That was a big moment. I think that if Levity had something more like a level one, I think he had either, and he just wasn't confident. But here with Driver of the Eye. Ooh, oh, in the level three, got a big Yo, ass got damage. Lane. I got damage too. Let me put that back out. Let me put it in the front. Mm. Fireball. But of course, Honda's also got that level three on deck. So at any moment, we're just gonna go all in if she really wanted to. Oh god. And that armor headbutt. Winters is so good at knowing oh, exactly when to use it and how to threaten the command throw after it. Okay. Nice. Oh. Good punish. Get him. Show him the kicks. DJ. Round one. Showing experience in this matchup. Showing calm determination. And still getting caught by a sumo slam. It's rough, man. Entering in that move is so hard. On it. Wow. Winters is just completely reversing this and leaving him unable to answer or able to do anything. And a cuff for KO. Crazy. Round two. That's Honda for you. Great son. Okay. That's, that's one thing is because this game doesn't oh. have proximity block, you're able to walk out of throws like that. What? Oh, it was, oh. it was, yeah, it was uh, unfortunate, but yeah, um, Levity pressed the button. Wait, who, who yeah. did it? it Levity, um, uh, no, um. Winner's pause? Yeah, winner's pause. Wow. Yeah, so it's 1-1. One, one. 
It happens. I mean. I think I had someone who took the wrong person on 1-1, one, one, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Let's just go with the flow, go with levity, trapping winners here in the corner for ever so briefly. I think this is one of the scariest things about Honda is that for most people, you break out with this like cross-up jump that you like understand how to stop, and Honda's just like, I'm just going to butt out of it. Alright, nice DP. Oh no. You can be the most careful that you can possibly be, and you're still gonna get caught by Bud. Oh, Winter is a good player. She knows. Winters knows where to put in that armored headbutt. I feel like she's been so successful with it over and over. Wow. Right. Power of the sun. Okay. Levity now thinking, okay, you know, I can't anti-air this stuff. Let me chill out. Okay. Oh, okay. Go for max damage. Come on. This one thing is Winters isn't doesn't really Ooh. have the reaction to uh, DI. Uh, often she just gets beat by it. So, okay. okay Burn nice. out. And Yo. stun. Oh, not stun. Mm. Oh. That's okay. That's okay. 1-1 one, one match point for both players. Levity taking a much calmer approach. Oh, big DI, and that's what I was just saying. So the one the weakness that she has. Let's go. Somebody big, let's go. She doesn't have out. that strong of a DI reaction, so the situation Calls. is that's it. It's down. Big damage. Alright, power the sun. Let's go. Ooh, ooh. That was really funny. Drive rush slide into the face. Oh, show them before Knows the spacing. Yo, Knows the like space. Like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Let's go. Levity Woo. finding everything. Oh. Uh, wow. Huge reversal by Levity. What started as an all winters match where she was just slamming through his anti airs and Levity able to calm down, find his spots, and take it all the way back. Yeah. Uh, I like it. I like that about um when, about. Levity, Le 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 like you said, Levity, Levity found the little gap, and he rolled. Oh. his way into victory. Love to see it. Uh, that is not Levity. That is Kite. Kite versus Tamsin. Quarters, and the winner of that goes up against Levity. Then we go to losers finals. Then we go to Grands. It is 10:22. If it's 10:40, I have to sit there. You get to sit being player two seat. <laughs> On the bright side, so I want Tam to win. He's my boy, but he's fighting against like a, a legit monster, Kai. But on the bright side, if you know Tan, like, I'm just saying this, if he doesn't make it, he can, now he can commentate for the rest of the night. <laughs> In my heart, I want to see Hypnotic go all the way. I think that he's really shown extremely confident play. I think he has a vision of always, like, it doesn't matter how tough a situation I'm in, if I keep the... If I keep victory in my sights, I'm going to find my way out. And he's been doing that very effectively all night. But before we get there, we got to have Tam and we got to have Kite. We got Kite's aggression versus Tam's cautious play. I don't think Kite is going to be able to get away with the dry brushes as much against Tam. Wow, immediate dash. But again, Tam is not letting him get away with the standard stuff. Good blocks. Both players swing quite a bit. Even in life. But Kite with really, really strong life support. So he's able to turn any straight hit into something pretty reasonable. No drive rush from. 
champ. Big jump and confirm. Oh, damn. Oh, God. Attack from the air. Kai Carry pulling out. out the gimmicks, but overall a very even match. So Kai, so far coming up to here, has just been so dominant oh, on this match. Damn, going for max punishment after the throwing yeah, out the DP he, will he, he wants the burnout. Oh, nice. Oh, okay, okay. Tank it out the corner. He's lucky and still getting his eyes That's wild. Kai again showing that he cannot be stopped. He's just going to keep going in if he possibly can. Okay. Oh, very back. risky drive rush. Put Joe in the corner. Oh no. Ken doesn't have more drive gauge. He's at low health. Yeah. Mm, Tam has been struggling to deal with that dive kick. I think overall, the dive kick is what's making Kai. Because otherwise, they're pretty even. They know how to deal with each other. And as I say that, Kai jumps round start and beats the crap out of Tam. <laughs> oh, damn. Grab. Grab again. Am I see the three time? Nope. 90 seconds. Oh, you're going to grab two times. And Tam lost half his life. Ah, that's Another normal. dive kick. Damn, she just doesn't stop. That's not gonna throw. But it's gonna get damn close. One throw? Yep. yep. I mean, guess it's the grab. Shoot. Round two. Uh, Kai going in with so much confidence. He burns himself wow. out. He doesn't care. That's a whip punish. Gonna hit the drive rush. The DP. Oh, God. Okay. The stalling. Okay. And Tam completely unable to deal with that dive kick. He's just getting hit every time. Nice, nice, nice. Jerry throwing the fireball and got punished for that one from the air. Yeah, Tam has been very effective at picking those spots to get over the fireball, but he doesn't really have the cross cut here in the corner. Oh, and now, this is where Kite really oh. thrives. This he has Made the perfect jump. roll. Oh. One more interaction. Uh oh. Damn. Yep. That's it. Son. One of the fastest matches all night. 2-0 fight without the slightest Dang. hesitation. Dang, why are you going to put your board down like that? You, you, are you really winning for Tam? Huh? Are you really winning for Tam? It's hard to deny what's on the screen, man. Listen. Look at Kai. Tam. This man is on fire. Damn. Yeah, no, no lie. Kai is literally a monster. Like, all, right. all right. Do we have Hypnotic Lucky D? So this. Ooh. Is three out of five. First of all, and second of all, it is winners finals. Hello, 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 and oh, you're not, you're not Elm Dog, you're Cham. Hello, Tam's back. Yo, starting top four of tonight's weekly. Good work. Yeah. You made it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I'll say nothing. I'll say nothing. No. We'll, just, we'll just leave it as it is. Yeah. I had a pretty cut, decent run today. Cut while you're ahead. Um, where is Dan? Dan was uh, like he's right on, on the setup. Yeah, he's on the setup. Or wait, where the hell is he? Yeah, actually? he was on the setup literally 30 seconds ago. Where are you? Why is he over there? He Dan. probably lost his Dan, get to the. No, he, he put his stick somewhere. Okay, Dan was just finding his stick. It's okay. Dan is coming over to play his winner's final set. Yeah. Sim versus Geef. The classic. Terrible, terrible matchup for Hypnotic. So let me just have a look see here. So Hypnotic has not played a Dalson tonight. We have seen Geef beat up Dalson earlier. We definitely saw that. Mm -hmm. But this is rough. I mean, I have been seeing uh, Blue. Um, beating up Dan week after week in Street Fighter V. That is definitely a thing that has been going on for quite some time. But this is a new game, right. a new Sim, a new Geef, and yeah. I don't really, I don't really know all the nuances in this matchup yet, and I, I'm not sure if the if the players even do either. Yeah, I'm just ever curious to see how this matchup plays out because I've never seen this matchup play out in this game either. Yeah. 
I've seen it. Uh, I've actually seen it a bunch in this chair because it just seems to happen a lot. We have a bunch of geeks and a bunch of sims. Um, Evidently. But. Hypnotic looking confident, looking calm, as he well deserves should coming into this. Yep. It's like, I feel like these two characters in particular, it could go like, it could be a super like slow matchup where they're literally like just picking each other's pokes. Yeah. Or one of them is just going balls to the wall trying to mix the other up. Yeah. And it could be either of them going balls yeah. to the wall mixing. That's the crazy That's the part. Funny part is, it's not Dawson being peaceful yoga. He could just mix his ass too. So. Oof. Okay. There we go. Hypnotic going straight for the jab. Good shot. Yep. Already, Dan establishing the game he wants to play. I want to want you as far away as possible. I'm gonna use my normals and the Yoga Flames. Ooh, whoa, that was okay. close call. That was risky, but not that harmful for uh, Hypnotic. Hypnotic has most of the screen yeah. already. I think there's a part of me that wants to think the way Dan's playing and wants to pick He's trying to see if uh, Hypnotic wants to risk a drive impact on any of these yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is. But he blocked it, and we were in the corner. But this okay. is where everything Here's good where turns. Yep. He just needs like two throws and he wins. And one? One? Okay. Like reversal? this late? Yep. Oh, no more life. Rip. Yeah. Any yeah. other instance, I think uh, Dawson would have died for that yeah. one. Yeah, absolutely. But we don't have enough life this time. Yeah. Well, that's the essence of this, of this matchup is uh, Hypnotic was losing for something like 40 seconds before he nearly won. And I think that's the key is, as Dawson is, that drive reversal uh, is unthrowable. So that's the best option to get out of somebody that you know is going to SPD you. But this is very difficult, even with level 3. Ooh, okay. The boot. Drive very impact. Call. But... You know, doesn't get drive impacted back, so there's that. Armor punch. Yeah, that's but it doesn't have much to armor from, so the takes game one. It's pretty clear what Dan wants to do, and it's, and it's working so far, but like, hypnotic? If he can be aware of how Dan wants to play the defense once he gets that first knockdown on the and once he gets that momentum, he can really turn things to his favor. Yeah, because I feel like if he manages to get through, he, right, right, like this, if, if he manages to throw... Oh, that's big. That's huge. Because I was about to say, like, uh, we've seen it for both Lucky D and Keyboard uh, Noah earlier, like, their main defensive option with Dawson has been drive the reversal. The drive reversal, and if he can punish that even once, like, he has now an advantage to even at burnout. Right. Yeah, that's brown right there. Yeah. And so I think if Hypnotic can force more driver versions like that, Dan is gonna run out of options. And he's gonna have to rely on his neutral a lot more. Strong can he has a lot of awareness for these fireballs. I feel like a lot of people get hit by them on the way back, or they don't take the throw. Like Hypnotic's been so aware. Oh, he committed to a flame or something right there. And he was doing that against Blue as well. He was very strong on the committing to the drive impacts. There's the drive rush we were just talking about. Yeah. This is so crazy. I mean, obviously they did. Oh, that's gonna Oh no, oh, never no. mind. I thought that would have hit him. Yeah. I, I guess it's too so far. No level three. Uh, I like the idea though. If like Lucky D can win this, you want know, to hold on to as much meter as you can. As much as he's, oh, yeah, exactly yeah. right there. As much as you're around behind, it's so tempting though, I love it. But he needs the bar, as yeah. much bar as he can get, because he needs the impact. Right. Okay, big punish counter. Ooh, meaty slide. Now level three, no, we yeah. do it. But that's okay, because he's still got control of the match. Yo. Lucky D, just in control of this like, uh, neutral spacing right now. Yeah, Hypnotic is not able to find his spot. Yeah. Oh, this could be big though. Is that first knockdown? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. Lucky D is just... Lucky D just... Out, like, his years of experience is just showing yeah. right here. It's not really... Not, 
not even in the sense of jealousy, just as a Street Fighter player. Yeah. Like, he knows, he has just a good sense of when people like to move. And Hypnotic, to his credit, he has a very strong sense of offense. Like, right here, that was a big, bold lariat. And that's how you get somewhere with grapplers. You make these big, bold decisions. And already, 12 seconds in, we see the kind of round that Hypnotic really craves. Ooh, that was a very close call. Very close call. Very fortunate for Dan. Extremely fortunate now that he's a burnout. This is really bad for Hypnotic. Yeah, right now, like, Lucky D's like, alright, you're in burnout, I'm just gonna run the yeah. whole time. I don't need to press the issue. Because there's not a whole lot he can do, because Hypnotic's been relying on the parries so much. And I think parries are really important in this matchup, because it negates all of his drive advantage. Okay. That's fine. Oh no, uh, nice big drop. Very unfortunate. Ooh. <laughs> okay. I think I think he was expecting him to teleport the other side, but then like he pressed the button anyways. Do I have impact? No, jumps. Oh. Okay. You know, it's so scary, it? like, deep, it's like, by the time he gets that third jab, he's out of range for Lariat, so you're yeah. instinctively holding up to, like, not get 360, but he's, like, resetting his pressure. Oh, good whip punish, though. Okay. Yeah. I think pushing him to the corner is so valuable in itself that it's worth to do it. I have noticed, like, Lucky D is, like, baiting for dry brush, but only in terms of, like, pressing the cancelable buttons. He's not exactly reacting to the raw ones. Yeah. But, uh, he just throws out. And Burnout for Sim is extra dangerous. Oh, no. Yeah. I think that was a 360. Oh, okay. Let's what, cancel this game. That's kind of crazy. Good back dash. Ooh, committed okay. to it. Oh, what a save. Very unfortunate. Bought good Lariat. Yep. Yes, there you go. That's not going to kill, like, but it's one It's going to be like next touch wins for me. Yeah. All right, here's the dry brush. What's the... Ooh, just Ooh, out of range. Just out of range. Now. Very interesting. Oh, oh OK, yep. Yeah. Dan, you had to, you had to raw Double super three. to get, yeah. get out of that one. And Dan has been very unwilling to raw super. And look at his face. He's... Yeah. Yep. Like, dry attack is such a weird tool for like these veteran Street Fighter players. Yeah. To like really like play around. Cause like, there's, there's really nothing like it. I think that Hypnotic therefore has the advantage because he's a strike player, right? Like this is all new to him the same. So he's more open-minded to look at these new tools and say, I'm just gonna drive impact. Yeah. But I think Hypnotic is realizing that Dan isn't exactly responding to the drive impact as much as he should be. Yeah. And now he's taking full advantage of a very fast round. And... Weird low profiles, but okay, very slow. Like Dan can start to take control back of the match, but I feel like Hypnotic is starting to recognize exactly what he can do to get through, and it's so dangerous for him. And one thing that I've noticed is that because so much of Dawson's stuff is multi-hit, you actually get a lot of drive back just by parrying the fireballs. Ooh, good awareness. Fireball save though. Ooh. Yep. Okay. Love nice that. Curve. Save. Dan on set point. Yeah. There's a lot of opportunities here where Hypnotic could be like doing an SPD random, but it's like getting the execution down for all of the things he wants to do is pretty hard. But he tried to press something here, but it didn't quite come out in time. to the corner, chilling with his parries, Ooh, big drive impact, right. He recognizes that Dan is not really dealing with those, especially when he's in the air. Right. And oh, another drive impact. He pressed the button that he could have canceled in a drive yep. impact, but he just wasn't, he committed to the yoga fire, now he's yep. gonna die for it. Yep. And Hypnotic now taking, the, oh, never mind, it's too Wait. skilled. Whoa, I was not expecting that, but he can jump. Oh, yep. Hypnotic taking this back 2-2. Two two two. Two. 
Hypnotic looking unshaken. Dan looking shaken. Yeah. Like this, this set like, is taking I, I think both toll. of us agree the number one thing he needs to like catch on to is like is the drive impact. Yeah, exactly. Like, all of the damage is really coming from the drive like impact. Dan, and and Dan just not responding to them as much as he should be. He's either just getting hit, like uh, just blocking them, or it's like if he commits to a button, he's just getting hit by them. Oh, 50-50. Guess we're on a 50-50 again. Out of drive bar, but it doesn't matter for Hypnotic because if he places those jumps right. He can just go right in. Oh, whoa! Too fast for the there. And again, the drive disadvantage is easily overcome if you carry all these multi-hit fireballs. So here he is, just chilling. Something interesting I couldn't help but notice, but like, Jen's placing a lot of like upwards uh, yoga plates, but like. They often miss against Zangief. Yeah. I think Dan's catching on to it a little bit now. He's going more for like a anti-air buttons rather. Than... Yep, there yeah. we go. That's exactly what he Yeah. Because those upward fireballs, usually what happens is he gets lariated. And yeah, the fireball trades, but Zangief doesn't care. That's Ooh, a big drive impact. Okay. A rare get off me super from Dan. That super has failed so many times tonight, I'm surprised it's worked. Okay. Oh, that's Punish. big. All right, that's okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, EX. Okay. So again, that awareness of the drive reversal, and, and honestly, after such a stressful round, to still have the awareness of he's gonna drive reversal anyway, yeah. that speaks to uh, mental fortitude on Hypnotic's part. Okay. Ooh, nice Huge. low profile. Nice low profile. Oi! Did he get out of the Is way in time? Yes, no! he did! He got out of the way, but like, not ready to punish. punish it, though. Like, the only punishment he got was he lost all his meter. But like, I guess a character like Zekeem, you really want to take whatever damage you can get. Especially with the 11,000 health he has. Dan now is starting to get it a little bit on going. Puts himself Don't in burnout. Drive. Very dangerous. Is the drive impact coming? Okay, whack yeah. interaction. Dude, that's a good point. Like he's not, he hasn't been responding to drive impact that well. So it's the only way to get out of the corner. Yes. This is not quite death, but it's one more. Oh wait, no, no, that's gonna scale. Is he dead? Oh my God. Hypnotic. Hypnotic. So I comeback. didn't even know that word. Holy. Oh, I didn't goodness. think that would kill, but holy shit. Beautiful. Yeah, but. Hypnotic looking, just so overjoyed right now to have made that match. Absolutely beautiful. Like, absolutely fantastic awareness from yes. Hypnotic. Understanding what Lucky D's, like, defensive options are to, like, break him down once and he gets those, like, important knockdowns. And and especially at the end, and just realizing, oh, Dan just burned himself out to protect himself. Right. I need to go in because that drive impact is absolutely going to yeah. hit, and in the worst case, yeah. he got stunned. Yeah, and, it, and it's like, as much as, like, the risk it has two bars to play with, it's throughout this match, we've already seen that Lucky D has not been, re like, again, he's not responding to those drive impacts. So, like, that bet, it's like, if it's like, you know, if there's any time for Lucky D to do it, but it just, he just hasn't done it. So, you could, like, you're a little bit safe going for that bet. Yeah. Like, he's not going to respond to the drive impact. And, you know, doing that when you're at set point, when you're at, like, no life where Dawson could do one confirm and kill you, that's fortitude, man. That's a good player. Beauty. All right, we got Levity and Kite, which I swear we had this, like, not too long ago. But, you know, two fairly aggressive players. Kite more so, I think. Uh, and fairly technical as well, so. And it beat him either. Yeah. Knock each other's fireballs out the parry. Ooh, what a shitty. Kite is so uh -oh. good at controlling the corner. And you know, he got off with the, with the DP, but Kite still has full control of the ground, I think. Like, look at that. Oh, good awareness. Bates the push and jump. Punish. No shimmy, but still complete control of levity. You no, know, I respect that wake up EX. Yes, it's, absolutely. It's, you're kind of back to the wall, so it's like you might as well give it a yeah. shot. Yeah, and like, you get your, all your tri meters back anyway, so the next round. I think that's one thing that I like a lot Ooh, about this game is that at the start of every round, you don't have to like be like, 
like, hey, the Guile matchup sucks because I don't have bar. Like, that never happens in this game. You always right. have bar. And, like, speaking of the meter advantage aspect of it, like, an interesting, like, meta game I've seen develop when it comes to, like, the super meter, especially when one player is up around. It's like, it's like a 50 50 in your mind. It's like, you want to spend the bar to seal the round, or do you want to save it for the next round so you can yeah. kind of even? But I don't think it's going to matter in this game. Kai's kind of going to close it out with his own CA. Immediately. Kai has been playing so fast this whole night, and continuing to do so. Very aggressive, very ready. Um, I've been particularly impressed by how he reacts to neutral jumps. He's always ready. Right. Alright. Levity started to bring it back. Because he's got a good corner card of his own, but I think Kite's just offensive awareness is really, really good. Okay. Another one. Caught the dash. But, oh, woo. Really using DJ's options to mix here in the corner. That's just that's the thing. That's a And there's the the right. main drive rush that everybody's talking about. The DJ drive rush. Yeah, the DJ tell he gave this character a teleport. Right here. Anti-air sweep, man, it's a juggle. Yeah, it's really funny. Yeah. He's got such a good anti-air sweep. And, you know, up kicks are really good by themselves as well. Oh, it doesn't complete, but it gets a mix-up, I guess. Ooh, wake up, Perry. Oh, Oof. drop the punish. I oh, noticed he, he that did perfect... a jab, though, so... Yeah, but I noticed that perfect Perry has this sort of weird input eating moment that, like, you gotta really know your punish. Because sometimes it just drops like that. And Levity doesn't seem to really have control of the neutral either. It's, like... Just barely manages here. 1-1. One, one. Mm -hmm. It's a tense situation for both of them. Wow, just match and pre match instantly. I mean, that's one of the little things. That's that the like future. Yep. We're all MK players now. Wow, actually blocks the dash kick for the first time. People have been getting hit by that dash so much. Oof. I thought that was the big for his hot second. <laughs> yeah. Kind of oh, the, oh no! He was pretty consistent with getting like the up kicks to auto correct and up this time. Yeah. So the way that uh, auto corrects work for moves like that is so weird. I don't fully yeah. understand what determines when it's gonna switch yeah. sides. Uh, I guess I should tag Gelatin Lab and find out um, at some point. I'm curious to see how Kite responds to that round in right there. He went for a drive impact. What? Levity went for a drive impact back against the wall on Sliver Health. So it's like, if I were in that situation, I think he's a little shook. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Yeah, there's I, the shook, and I don't think this is quite yet. No. Yet. But, oh, uh -oh. Kite doesn't have the Feng Shui engine combos, but. But he has such a huge lead, like the position. Okay, never mind. He doesn't have the position anymore, but. And good reaction. That's good reaction. That's it. That's sort of what I was talking about earlier, where players aren't really throwing out as high fit and blunt. They're playing just in respect to drive impact. Yep. They're using these jabs so that if they see the drive impact startup and it goes to into the drive impact, they have enough time to react and return it, a drive impact yep. back themselves. I have the bad habit of just continuing the jabs and doing a jab combo, but like I shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. I should just be doing DI. <laughs> yeah. And I think going returning a DI is better than that like does break, a jab going combo. to the armor break too, so yeah. But you know, whatever gets you the do the drive impact, I guess. Okay, so we got kite and, and lucky, uh, lucky Deuce. Uh, run back in. I believe and I think um This is Loser's Finals, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, they cut it close pretty. Yeah, they cut it pretty close last time, right? Yeah. Winner of this gets. So we get either a run back versus Hypnotic, or we get a uh, first time play against Hypnotic tonight. Mm -hmm. Both matches are probably interesting because I want to see yeah. both how Dan adapts to this and how potential future Dan could adapt to what Hypnotic was doing because he was shaken. Yeah. 
That is, after a verse three or like that, I think that's a huge wake up call. Like you yeah. need to be like looking and responding to dri like drive impact in particular. Yes. Maybe Kai not, might not throw him out as much as a hypnotic uh, or even a character like Geek does. But Kai has very good corner control anyway. Right. Especially because remember, <coughs> Juri gets free throw loop. She doesn't need to spend drive bar. She can right. just throw, and then she's plus three after dash. So, I I think Kite is in a pretty good position here. I think if he can, I feel like what's gonna happen is that he's gonna get the dive kick. That's gonna lead to the corner, and then from there, Kite is just gonna keep applying the pressure that he already has to knock out Dan. And we're gonna have to see how does Dan adapt to that which might be drive reversal. And if it is, can Kite do anything about that? Uh. Oh, we have all the colors here. One for the classic costume. Well, the Street Fighter V costume, I shouldn't call it the classic costume. That would be offensive to Street Fighter IV players. And I think he, like Lucky D has something going in that uh, set against Hypnotic where his game plan is to like, keep him out as much as he could, but what he really needs to refine is that mid-range and once he, if he loses the neutral. Yep. And we're off to a pretty good start here. But again, the drive yep. impact is causing yeah. so much trouble. And Kite deciding to represent it early. And that right there, the pinwheel, that's why I think that um, Jury to an agree, but Kimberly especially against Dawson is really bad because the Bushin kicks just knock him out of the air. So any character with a like super diagonal uh, air coverage move is really going to mess up with Dan. Yeah, I thought he thought saw a gap there, but that's not a real gap. Yeah. So the first drive impact chain ends poorly for Dan. Kite is really taking the lessons from the previous episode. Okay, I'm just gonna yeah. keep doing drive impact. Like, what's the right. worst that's gonna happen to me? <coughs> like, he's really sending that message to Dan. Like, if you're not gonna deal with these drive impacts, like, I'm just gonna bully you with them. All set. There's that. And yeah, again, because Jury's uh, pinwheel is so good against teleport specifically. It's a struggle for Dan to actually get out. But he's able to at least slide out of the corner. Now he's just trying to like... I think Dan had the idea there where it's like, I have long limbs, I can back off a little bit tech at least stop uh, corner control, but he kind of just lost it with that dive kick. Does she need stock for the dive kick? Oh, uh, no. Oh, so she can always just do that. Not sure about the follow-ups though. She doesn't really need them. Like what? What? Uh, Kite needs the most against Dan is just to hit him. But for now, Kite gets zoned out. But that was still a pretty dominant round from Kite. Oh, drops the follow-up. But very good drive rush, regardless. I guess the thing that Dan has found is he's found a lot of success stopping the drive rush but not the drive impact. So right. anytime that Kite tries to get force his way in, he gets stopped. But if Kite finds his way in in a more traditional oh. way or through the dive kick, right, like that's what he's struggling with. Is Kite is now struggling not to drive rush, I guess. Like maybe there's a little bit of thing in his mind where it's like, okay, I've hit him like with three drive, uh, forget what he said. Yeah. Oh no! First instance so far that we've seen that miss against the teleport. That was that was lucky, I want to say, because that just barely missed. Yeah, yeah that's good what awareness, normally though. happens. Okay, big punish counter, and now he doesn't have drive gauge, so one drive impact. Dan, 
I want to make an assumption that what he's doing with the way he's moving with the fur now, whoa, that was scary, is that instead of trying to like respond to driving back, he just wants to be outside the range of driving yep. back to work to begin with. Because he's like, I don't know if I can even react to this. Oh, lost two bars to that. Yikes. It's really funny to see it just phase through jury unaffected. Round oh, star drive impact. Mm. And like, at this point, if the message hasn't been said, it, it has to, Dan has to get it in his brain right now. He needs to start responding to that drive yeah. impact. And I think Kai is just, he is so willing to just, okay, I'm gonna round star drive rush, I'm gonna round star drive impact, I'm just gonna go in. 1-1. One, one. Kite very effectively taking advantage of Dan's tendencies. So the question is, and is Dan gonna get the mess there? And I've seen Dan be able to respond to drive impacts before. Like, you know, it could just be an off day today for him, yeah. despite being able to get as far as he has a bracket. Like, like. Oh, rare miss confirmed. Ooh, again. But again, yeah, there's the drive impact again. Right. The counter throw shimmy. Which does a lot of damage in this game. Yeah, Punish counter throws like, are serious. Does like, what, 20, 50 or something like yeah. that? Yeah. 20, 40? Which is pretty serious damage for just a generic throw. Yeah. Like, Kai just has really strong awareness to just know that he's just trying to leave the corner and not have to deal with potential like drive impact wall splats. I've always been really worried Ooh. in this matchup about ever teching because it just shoots Dalsum to his optimal spacing, but. Kite just does not care. He's just, okay, I'm gonna go back in, no problem. Push to the corner, Ooh. the eye, response. Dan tries to bring one of his own, but Kite very aware of the mechanic. Went straight for the level three to get yep. the life lead. Exactly. And it's also, it's, it's a burnout uh, Dalsim. Just make it even more likely he can like, probably take this round. And honestly, if you do a level 3 against somebody who's burnt out, it freezes the timer. So you get to do a lot of damage without sacrificing burnout. Right. And that's pretty good for you. Okay. A lot of careful play from Kite, but he spent his 3 bars. And Dan could easily bring the... No, he can't. Okay, a little oh, bit of an awkward right. it was, it was an air like, hit. Those yeah. are super rough. Yeah, you gotta be like ready ready with your characters yeah. and like and they're a little esoteric too yeah i feel like some characters convert better than others like the best that jury's gonna get is like an ea spin wheel but like zongif can just destroy you for it okay pushing and again this corner control that kite is really good at even though he doesn't have the bars and dan does he can I make mean, those bars not matter if he does a good dive Yeah, I mean, he's example. at a point where, like, if he goes to the Feng Shui, that, it might be death, actually. Or maybe even Level a double dive rush. Should be it. Yeah. That one scales really hard, but... 2-1 Kite. And... I think Kite is just recognizing that game plan where, like, he can kind of afford to make a couple mistakes in neutral, as long as I can like get that first important yes. knockdown. Sort of like just like the Zay Keep too, just because like Dan's defense when he's losing the neutral just hasn't been the best. Yes, and I think that that's uh, that's a philosophy to take in as Dalton. You're you're using your health bar as payment in order to get the big payoff. And look at that like oh, oh. committed to the the follow up. Very unfortunate for him. But he can still take this round, because he's taken it from worst place before. Wall. Good confirm off the wall. And there we go. Yeah. And Kite. Uh, Kite putting himself on match point. Or is it set point? Not set point. point. Not, yeah. yet, not yet. Not yet. Yeah. I think that's the first time he used that against Dan this set, actually. Yeah. I mean, a good time to get it out is because Dan's been busy thinking about everything else. You might as well go for the over now. Yeah. I don't want to say it just to be beating a dead horse, but I think everyone knows the word I, we're all thinking of. Yeah, I'm thinking about it right now. Yeah. Where is it, Kite? Ooh, there okay. it is, but like, it goes through that drive impact. Okay. Well, that's one solution, but he can just do it again. Well, up for a burnout, but it doesn't matter. Like, 
Like at that stage, Kite was so ahead that like he was okay with going into burnout, just like put just some like offense some going. Yeah. Wow. And now Kite going into grand finals against Hypnotic. How do you feel about Jerry Geef? <laughs> I have no idea. I have not seen this matchup somehow. I feel like it's gonna be like on round start, it's a mix of like on paper, it's gonna be Jerry trying to get some stocks in just to get the ground uh, wave to like control the neutral a little bit. I oh, think a mix of that or Zinky trying to prevent that. So that's the theory. <laughs> but what I'm thinking, not as Jury, but as um, looking at Kite specifically, what I think is going to happen is Kite is going to go extremely ham round start. And we're going to have to see how does Hypnotic respond to that. Because Kite has been so willing to just be like, I don't want to stock. I don't care. I'm going to round start drive rush and beat you up. And you better be ready. Right. And um, I think Hypnotic has the awareness to stop that. And I wonder whether Kite is going to take a slower approach knowing that or whether he's just going to yeah. try and mash through anyway. DBFZ oh, yeah. finals. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it are. This is definitely one of those matchups where, like, if if it goes the way we're talking, it's going to really depend on how they, like, play that first game, almost like yes. a feel-out round or a feel-out game. Wow. <clears throat> Hyp Hypnotic says he's done with Strive. As someone who plays Potemkin, I understand that sentiment. Not me, he plays Potemkin. I don't play Strive. Yeah. There's a bit of a delay. I think Hypnotic just went to the bathroom, that's all. Yeah. We're a little later than I thought. I thought that this bracket might end on like. Uh, 1040, but Dan was... Um, you lost the bet. Get off the chair now. No, sir. What I happened? Am I missing something? We thought that uh, the bracket... We, we, we would get to grand you finals thought, at 1040. You thought that the bracket was going to end at 1040. It's like now 11. Yeah. Because Dan and Hypnotic went on quite Ooh, a bit. Yeah. I think they've really shown... What happens if you were to set this game first to three right now, and then we would all go home at 2 a.m.? So, yeah. um, understand that we do things the way we do for a reason. I mean, in a fast sense, yeah, you might get like two or three touches if they just burn all their drive meter, just go ham on you. But then it's like a match with like Zangief Dalsim very much feels like Street Fighter. Yeah, in the old sense. Not and maybe maybe not necessarily in the uh, mid range footsie sense, but in the way that matchup plays out. Yeah. It's it, what you expect out of Street Fighter in that matchup. Yeah, and not not just in the neutral, but also just in the timing and the pacing. And like every round is going to be like 70 plus seconds. Yeah, both it's players, gonna be, it's like really picking their points to like make it an offensive. Otherwise, they're just playing really slow and patient, ideally. And you know, hypnotic, ideally pairing everything everything that Dan does. Um, all right, we got hypnotic versus <coughs> Kate. Kite stepping up. Here we go. Grand finals. I don't trust the default value. I've always said it myself. Yeah. I mean, I've kind of just built, me personally, I kind of just built the habit of just reading off the, the buttons. Yeah. And, or not necessarily reading them off, but I'm just so used to what they're supposed to look like that if something looks off, I'll notice it. I tend to like be just slightly off the default layout in a way that I always have to change it. Um, especially in 5, because now that there's V-Shift, I always have to set more buttons, that sort of thing. All right. I guess I'm going to learn what is Geef Jury like, because oh, I don't know <laughs> what this matchup looks like. It's either really slow or really fast, and we kind of said that about every Geef matchup tonight. Yeah. There we go. And there we oh! go. Oh, he was ready for it. <laughs> so ready. Kite's also ready. They're both just it's... swinging. Yeah. It went from both of them just. Oh, okay, they're still swinging. <laughs> they're still swinging. They're not stopping. Yeah. Good awareness. Very good anti-airs from Kite. I think that that's one of the big things uh, in the grapple matchup is like. 
You have to make sure Zongif doesn't get a jump in, right. especially an empty jump. Yeah, but... Oh, this is big. Keith, is he gonna... Okay. Not able to use his offense, just like, at least put him on burnout. Like, what as... Like, what... Whatever way Keith can lock out your uh, defense box, it's will take it. That's the worst that... Okay, that's not gonna... Is it? No. Now Keith very tense, but he has an abarded. I didn't hop know game. you can hop that. That's smart. That's yeah, that's very smart. I think that puts some so. favor because it means that Jury has to really risk whenever she throws one of those out. No that's cross up like hitbox. That's the saddest thing. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. That Laria is all forward, baby, and it sucks. So you can and should cross up the thief whenever possible because he has very few responses for a cross up. Okay. Not ready for those. Ah, uh, level three? No. Wouldn't yep. kill, but, yeah. but now the he next can. one will gets out of the way. Again, that sort of weird mental game of like you want to spend it now or you want to save it for later. Yeah. Kind of able to close out that without spending anything. Especially against Keep where his does like half the health. Both of them on level three on deck. Both of them a big risk here. Yeah. And that hop is so good. Yeah. I'm wondering like if you're if, I, if I'm Kai, it's like do I like try to bait that out more or is he just aware that well, or at least like represent that you're gonna try to bait it out once? Yeah, but the thing is, um, I don't know if you noticed, but at the um, the armor punch doesn't have any lower body uh, armor, so that means that when you throw out the stop. Every single time you do that, he can't do the punch, and so the only option he has is the hop. So you're limiting his neutral options. Anyway, here's Kai doing like 60% casually. Ooh, we tried to like bait out like something like maybe like a reversal super, but now he kind of like put himself back in neutral. I'm trying to really play with the life lead. It's kind of working out so far. Kai not committing to the corner, and that's very smart because I think that one of the things that you get stuck in with Eve is if you commit too hard to the corner, one back throw and now you're doomed, right? So, yeah, I think Kite right now, yeah, there's like that's like the third jump in so far in this position where he just hasn't defeated. It's like you want to play so slow and low risk to like finish out the round, but now you're reacting to your shot because of it. Yeah, and and actually, I think um, Hypnotic could have killed her. He could have gone into level three and he didn't realize it. Oh, okay, that was scary. Yeah, that was very scary. I think the only thing that he could have done there was level one, but again, he could have killed like an interaction earlier. That's the sort of nerves that you're getting in this really, really tense matchup. Nice walk on here. Weird anti-air. And now we got corner yeah, control from Kai. I've seen that Kai really established all night is that he's not afraid to just dive kick. Let's yeah. Jury. And just as I was talking about being afraid in the corner against Eve, Kai just fully committed, but okay, confidence. I mean, in that sense, it's like you do it because you think Eve's not going to like respect it, you know? But, well, at that level of life, you feel like he has to not respect you if he wants to keep going. Whoa. Whoa, what a backdash. I'm sure he was looking for an SPD, but you know, it pays off. Huh, at that height, that seems like Laria just isn't going to work. And that's bad because Dongyev doesn't really have that many good air bars. Ooh. Very patient. Uh, very Nautic doing a good job of just walking Kite out of the corner. He's scary. Hypnotic has really earned his terror here. Alright, I'm not liking this matchup for Geef as much now that I realize you can um, dive kick so low. Because he can't do a whole lot. I mean. He can do the armor punch. Yeah, but that's a, a tough situation reaction. we were just talking about like a moment ago where Oh! That should be it. That's it. Level three? Yeah. Yep. A pretty fast 2-0 for Kite now. 2-0 for Kite. Are we going for a 3-0 reset? I think we might. But and so Hypnotic? far in these two games, it's like. I think Kaya has gotten a pretty good feel of where he can like start an offense, but then also where to like chill off. Mm -hmm. And Kaya playing a lot calmer than normal because a lot of the games tonight he's just been swinging, and even here, yeah, he does some DPS, but the fact that he missed that anti-air shows that he's slowing down a lot. Yeah. 
Hypnotic is really wearing on him. Like, that's a character you're like you're something like those like big body characters like even even Marisa where it's like you're just scared of like them like getting free damage on you that you're yep. trying to react to everything but so much that you don't react to anything. Yeah. Because you're prioritizing what you care about the most in the stack against Keith is what's important. Because otherwise, he's just gonna hit you with everything. Good okay. Good that's control. Plus enough for we're no. trying to bait something there. Hypnotic with the commotion not to bite there. And they would have pushed her out of the corner too. Not sure what he was trying to make, because the thing is at, at that spacing, um like with this much bar, Zangief doesn't have a reversal right now. So there's nothing to really be afraid of if you just Oh, is that able to snipe attack? Yes yeah. it will. Yeah, yeah. Oof, there we go. Yeah, weirdly Zoom. enough, like as as solid as Kite was in those like previous sets in like hitting anti air DPs, he's not hitting them as well against Zengi. Yeah. I don't know if it's that it's late in the night and he's starting to get tired or if it's just it's scary. Yeah. But Hypnotic is looking fresh. Okay. Good parry. This doesn't do much damage, but Never mind, I didn't say anything. Perfect parry seems to scale everything really hard except SPDs. A lot more confidence here from Kite in the corner, and this is very tough for... Oh, that's it. Okay. Not quite. He could have gone level one, but... Oh, actually, I don't know. The jungle point there is super weird, so you can't rely on it. Uh, just asking to be sure. He does not get a reversal until he gets to level two, right? Uh, so he gets to level three because level two is just projectile. Oh, okay. Actually, level one is air only, and level two is projectile. So he needs it's level not three. Anymore. Okay. So Kite's low, confidence going as hard as he is on ETH until he has level three is pretty justified. Yep, there we go. There we go. I think he realizes it now. Reordering the stack, almost. I feel like I saw him move to try the anti-air, and just barely didn't get it. Yep, I think he made it out. Very strong. And there we go. There's the reset, reset for Kite. Very well executed too. And again, if that, if um, Hypnotic had bar for level three, Kite's just dead. But until he has that third bar, Zangief is just not that much of a threat on Wake Up. It's this very, very swingy thing. And that, of course, also means that if he ever uses the level one to catch you in the air, now he also doesn't have a reversal. So it's rough. I don't know what, like, Ooh, you have to smart. do. Like, he was aware that he's a little bit more close to, towards the corner and just likes to walk underneath to get that corner carry. Or the reverse corner carry, I can say. I can think of arm answers for the dive here, but they were both so hard to do in practice that I'm not surprised that um, Hypnotic doesn't really have an answer for the dive game yet. Oh, great walk under, jeez. Well, is with excellent awareness, but wow, there's the DI. So one thing to notice, he does have Strike Gimbal EX Lariat, but I haven't seen that from literally any Zangief player, and oh, I don't okay, know okay. why. So, um, I don't know. I would need to look at the properties that move this. Yeah, it's maybe it's like property. frame three, and that's why it's not, but I just know that, Ooh, oh, I big feel like read, that might have been, it's either a big reader or a bad input error. Yeah, I think it was a bad input error, because he hasn't really been doing level one in general. That's an answer. I mean, it's not gonna work every time, but it's gonna work this time. Just get, barely gets out of the way of that overload. Mm -hmm. There's a bit of an interesting thing and that's great about Jury having really, three really good supers, is that when you're up around, you can kind of afford to like spend two to activate Feng Shui Engine. Cause yeah. you kind of build about two anyways in the next round. Yeah, and so long as you have the execution to keep it up, you might as well. Okay. 
Kite's starting to get his confidence back to go into these dry brushes. And I mean, you just reset the bracket. Why not be more confident on offense? Big jump. Level three on deck. I think he gets like level three and one interaction. And so if he managed to land this level three, Hypnotic can take this round, but. Okay. Oh, Try to play around it, but he's hilarious instead. I think, again, that neutral jumping to get around Zangief stuff is just a terrible idea. He's trying Don't. really hard to bait out that level three, but like, ooh, now he's gonna die for it. Yeah. He's trying so much to not get caught by level three that you're just getting yeah, destroyed. Because the thing about it, this game is in, um, in previous games, I think backdashing it is not nearly as effective as it is in this one. Just backdash, you're gonna be okay, and you're probably, like, the most that Zangief can do is, like, a sweep, and that's just yeah. not much damage compared like, to what you But I think that's just the awareness of both the players, where, yeah. like, in Kite's mind, if he gets, if he's right on that rate, he wins the round immediately. Yeah. Whereas, uh... Big ram impact. Yeah. But on the flip side, for Hypnotic, he realizes he loses if that's what he does. Yeah. And then also, if he tries to bait it with a jump, then he can respond with Larry. But now, Kai Now we spend so much time talking, Kai just won the round yeah. in like 20 seconds. Uh, Kai, I feel like every time I'm talking about some mechanic, Kai just like speed runs around while I'm talking. It's great. Wow. That armor punch has so much starter, but I mean, it's pretty safe, so who cares? Big jump. Yeah. No Larry at this time. Drive impact. Oh, he went for the mix up and not the combo. He didn't register the confirm. Is this yeah. critical arc? Yeah, no, no, it's, he's not in critical yet, but he's trying to use just to use that time to build back the burnout. Yeah, he's trying to bait something and like him not with the close did not bite except right there. I think he's just not aware that, you know, he doesn't really have a reversal until three. I think that hit the way that he's approaching. Yeah, I think that one's a little too That's late. too late, yeah. He can't kill from here, I don't think. Uh is he gonna prove yeah. me wrong? Okay. It maybe it would have could have killed the most anybody else but Eve. Yeah, it would have killed on anyone else, and it would have killed if he had level one at that point, but he didn't. Um, he was just barely shy. One, one. Okay. Yep. So then I want to take He's just so willing to let those rip, and that's been yeah. very helpful for him. Because he needs the pacing. There we go. We got the anti-airs again. Yeah. And he did that off a of drive rush, too. I think I don't think Eve has a way to, like... Press the button, drive rush, and then make it a real mix-up that you can't DP out of. Yeah. So that's really just owes to Kite's awareness to be able to DP out of that situation. Oof. I think that's an advantage that characters with DPs have against Keith. It's just that, or, you know, people with modern controls. If you can have something easy to input in that drive rush string, he just eats shit. Ooh. Okay. Backdash. He's starting to backdash, which is good. Yep. But let's see if he takes that message to heart, because if if he focuses on backdashing to get out of this situation instead of neutral jumping, a lot of damage is suddenly not on the table. Okay. Ooh, strong the, grab uh, impact. Uh, wave. Goes for the combo just for the Oki rather than the... Ooh, just barely dodged the drive pack there. Good awareness to not accidentally burn himself out in that position. Yeah, that's been very difficult, especially because he's spending so much drive bar on the DPs. Is he gonna DP yeah. again? Oof. In that situation, it's like, if he went for some nutty read, I'd rather punish that and just take the throw there. Yeah. You're, just keep the three bars as is. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, he got, um, got. Zero frames, got, got. The Zangief Classic, empty jump, frame zero grab. Hey, what's so interesting is that, like, because Sig gives, like, uh, level three does, like, half your health, whereas, like, most other characters like, do maybe 4,000 instead. It's like, this doesn't exactly even it up as much no, as Sig Geef does. Yeah, he's got a, he's a very good position now, though. He's about, yep, there's the burnout. 
Oh, this is bad for yeah. Geef. Very bad for Geef. Yeah, I think. Chip. Yep, Kai realizes there's not really much uh, Geef can do. He can start wailing yeah. on him. 2 1, and so from a very dominant position, Kai takes it all the way back, and now he's standing at 2 1. Set point. Tournament point. Yep. Ooh. Finally, the first one he actually lands. That round was a little interesting. I feel like Kai realizing he's on tournament point. He tries to play a little bit slow just to like throw yeah. him off, but then I think both of them kind of responded the same way. And then when he's playing so slow, he throws out the arm punch that he wasn't ready for that. Those walk under jabs are yeah, so good. Like I'm surprised. But I think he's a little too used to doing that. He kind of sacrificed the corner for that one. Yeah. But it doesn't really matter. He's able to get the other corner. Walk under anti air. He's yeah. feeling himself so hard right now. Yeah. Hypnotic is stressed, and Kite is absolutely feeling himself. Yeah, 22 frame dash, but it's like it just travels so far, nobody's ready for it. Uh, I remember when we used to complain about 16 frame dash. Okay, wake up jab. Not respecting the wake up, and now that puts Kite in tournament point. Yep. Try to do a little bit of the opposite of the last round. Start off more aggressive. Strong lariat. I feel like, yeah, dive kick is your most effective option. I think that's what makes this matchup disfavorable for Geef. Is entirely the dive kick. Ooh, nice shimmy. Yeah, try to build up that burnout now. Oi, not ready for no the, ready, that one. Oh no, very unfortunate. Yep, spends... Oh, wait, does Insoles do? No, I don't think no, so. No, they don't. He has to spend level one if he wants to do burnout damage. Yep. That's not going to do it either. Barely enough? No. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, they only do half your bar. But, yep, there's a burnout. Now, he does have level three, though, but it's like. Well, he spends it here. Mean, it's going to even up the game, but now. Actually, no, they're going to be an even if uh, Hypnotic is able to take this game back. This oh, but it's critical. Control. It's critical. It's going to do a lot. It is even. But he still had enough meter to drive impact. That should be it. Nope, Zeki's No, not help. quite. But we're, yep. Chip. We're still in burnout, and he was able to chip him out just in time. Yeah. Kite. Kite. Able to win tonight. Woo! After a long and grueling 20-minute set. Yeah, you As a Sam Show player, that's fucking nothing. But <laughs> remember, I had a one-hour grand finals versus Boss Hog. Oh, my God. Never ended. It was, it was like. Charlotte. Neither three, of you just three, went three, for three. it. Re Holy shit. 3-3-3-3 <laughs> three, 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 three and Sam Show 7 is an eternity. No, um, that's just... All right, I'm going to put it this way. Both of you were playing like bitches in that point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I mean, I can only imagine this is like before the pandemic, so both of y'all had slide kicks to play with, so it's like... <laughs> and hey, let me tell you who wasn't playing like that. It was Kai. That man was yep. in. <laughs> He's really able to like just put the pressure on his opponent, break down his opponent's de uh, defenses, and recognize when they have to like are on the defense. Just yep. how do they want to get out of the corner, or how do they want to start their offense? So happy watching everybody play Street Fighter Six, and just like yeah. you know, you really see everyone things. just improve over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, it's this game has not been out for a month, and Kite is just so clean and so aware. And I mean, anyway. That's it for us. Yeah. So uh, thank you for uh, joining us. Actually, you know, I, I wanna, wait, no, it's like 11.30. I'm not going to do anything. Nope. I had this dumb proposal where uh, just for tonight, we're going to put up a PS4 with King of Fighters on it, and we're going to watch Dan play the boss fight just for laughs. <laughs>, uh, <laughs> Unless that's something people actually want to watch then, but, like, it's already 11.30. We can do it. I mean, we'll do it off stream then. Worst All right. Anyway, I'm Omni Rabbit. Yep. Thank you for joining. I'm Tamsun. Have a wonderful night.